Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking some outfield footwork on throws. We're talking about the crow hop versus the step behind to throw, okay? I get this question a lot. Uh, we're going to talk about the differences and the advantages. Now, when I watch Major League Baseball, what I see happening a lot now in Major League Baseball is players getting away from what is taught mostly at younger levels is that big pro hop and throw, okay? What I'm seeing now is players really working on stepping behind. So they're taking their throwing side foot and they're stepping behind to throw, okay? And I've looked at both and I think the step behind is a little bit quicker, gets the ball out of your hand quicker, right? It allows you to gain some ground. It allows you to get going towards your target and not so much go up, but go towards your target. Okay, so let me just show you. You can try them both and see what you think works better, okay? But let me show you real quick what the step behind looks like, all right? So what I'm gonna do is when I come to field this ball, I'm gonna field this ball off out front and just outside my leg my glove leg is going to be behind okay so i'm going to field the ball just like this okay now as i'm fielding the ball my glove leg is going to start to work forward right so i'm fielding the ball i'm going to start to bring the ball to the middle of my chest okay so here it comes up here now once this foot gets planted i'm going to take my throwing side foot and I'm gonna bring that thing right behind my left foot, my other foot for a right-handed thrower, okay? My toes are gonna go right behind my heels, okay? As I'm doing that, I'm, bringing the, I'm continuing to bring the glove to my chest, okay? Now I'm gonna break and throw, okay? So when I do that, I stay much more on the ground, right? When I'm stepping, when I'm stepping behind here, I wanna keep my foot close to the ground and close to my left foot. Again, for right-hand throw, it's the opposite to lefty, okay? So I'm not on a crow hop, I'm going up, right? I'm kind of wasting time in the air. On the step behind, I'm gaining ground and I'm staying low to the ground. I don't want my feet coming up in the air because again, that's just wasting time, okay? So now, I'm able to quickly move through the ball. I've got good direction. I'm gaining ground toward my target and everything happens quick. When I keep my feet closer to the ground, well then I'm not wasting time. Remember, every second or split second that I spend in the air doing all this stuff, now I'm not gaining ground because when I go up, I'm not going forward, right? When I stay close to the ground, now I'm gaining ground and I'm getting ready to throw much quicker, okay? So give that a shot and just see what you think, okay? The kind of the universal way to do it is the crow hop. But like I said, the more I'm watching guys at the major league level and breaking it down, guys are stepping behind much more often, staying close to the ground, getting rid of the ball quicker, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Let me know which one you do in the comment section below. And if you've had pluses or minuses with Either, either one. All right. So that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Comment in the section below. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate all that. In the description box below, we've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. If you click the link, type in Antonelli, get 50% off of your first Plate Crate. I also have a link to our Patreon page where you can help support the channel and a bunch of other stuff. So check all that out. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.